Well, first of all, in, uh, in this question there are like several questions inside one question. First of all, we have to talk about uh, body stability. It's uh, rather important to keep the body in a straight way, in that way, that not one shoulder is higher than the other. Um, in this way, to be able to move, both shoulders should try to stay on the same line and we should avoid that uh, as left-hander the left shoulder is too low or as right-hander the right shoulder is too low. Second thing, we talk about body tension. When uh, we are under time pressure and when we are moving different distances, always the body tension has to be up in a way that around the stomach and also inside the back the body tension should be around. Just like compare it as uh, one boxer who's also able to move in different directions but he has to be in order to avoid the strokes from the other side, from his opponent. He has to keep this body tension in order to be ready what kind of opponent is coming and what kind of strokes coming from the opponent. So uh, it's very very important the same in table tennis to always keep a certain body tension in order to be not surprised when the opponent for example is changing the direction of the ball. And last but not least it's re really really important uh, to keep your body not only in a good tension but to keep standing on your toes all the time in order to be really ready to be inside the next rally, inside the next ball and it's easy to keep the body tension by moving a lot on your toes and by putting your whole position on the toes your whole body is a little bit let's say under pressure under tension in order to be uh, ready to explode for the next stroke well in general there are of course different techniques depending on um, how far is the distance I have to move to. So first of all, of course, it's the side step. Second, it's, uh, it's uh, the cross step uh, or the cross jumps. First, uh, uh, it's uh, the side step you should try to put as often as possible inside as a small step is always better than the big step. And last but not least, for bigger distance, the cross step should be used. And there are, of course, also some alternatives, let's say, like a small uh, or like a half cross step or like sometimes uh, a big jump. But these kind of things really um, depend a lot, one more time, on the distances I want to move.